welcome once again remember to subscribe like and share this content hit the bell for notifications you are with your teacher teacher atanas helping you to revise length measurements and today's lesson will be conversion of units let's start from one unit to another one when converting from one unit of length to another we can easily use a conversion table what is a conversion table a conversion table is a table containing the units of length measurements through which we convert from one unit to another one we write we we'll, we write the units of length measurement starting from the larger to the smaller so here we have kilometer is the largest hectometer is larger than this the kilometer meter is smaller than the kilometer decimeter is smaller than meter decimeter is smaller than centimeter is smaller than decimeter and millimeter is smaller than centimeter so here the the kilometer hectometer the kilometer meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter we are going to convert from one unit to another one remember here one case is one digit one case is one digit so for example here we are having some examples two kilometers converted to two meters here we have two kilometers we first locate where is kilometer in the conversion table after locating the given unit now you fill in the digits depending on the position of the given units here the given unit is kilometer and then the given number is two we are having two kilometers so put a two is put be under kilometers in the case where we we have kilometers that is why here we have two kilometers when converting from larger larger units like kilometer to the smaller units we only fill in with the zeros what do you do you first locate the asked unit the asked unit is a meter and meter is located in that area here we have we have meter here after locating the asked units now you fill in zeros until you get to the asked units we fill in with the zeros until you get to the asked units here two kilometers equal to 2000 meters let's have the next the next example in the next example we are still converting from the larger unit to the smaller units the units in the left side is larger than the units in the right side so centimeters are left to the left side of millimeters to mean centimeters are larger than meters so here we are having two digits in the first case we are having only one digit but here we are having two two digits so for our two digits here the last two digit, uh, the last digit is always put under the given units we first locate the given unit the given unit is centimeters and then after locating the given units now we fill in with digits starting from the last digits the last digit is zero and then we fill zero under centimeters this is centimeters and then here one will be put before zero then you have 10 10 centimeters and then because we are converting from the smaller to the larger sorry from the larger to the smaller we fill in with the zeros and until we get to the asked units so the asked unit is millimeter we fill in the zeros until we get to the millimeter so 10 centimeters equal to 100 millimeters 
The next one will be another case because here we are converting from the smaller units to the larger units from millimeter to meters. But before we go on there, let's start filling 12,536 millimeters in the conversion table. As I told you before, we always start with the last digit. What is the last digit here? Oh, good. The last digit is 6. So 6 is put under millimeter. Where is millimeter here? There we have the millimeter. So one, one, one thing to do is to locate the millimeters. We have located it. And then we fill in starting with the last digits. So the last digit is 6. So 6 is put under millimeters. And then the other digit will be filled in the table. Just referring to the last digit here, as you may see it here. 6 under millimeters, 3 under centimeters, 5 under decimeters, 2 under millimeters, and 1 under decameters. What does it mean here? We are converting to meters. So when you are converting from the smaller unit to the larger one, what do you do? You just locate where is the asked unit. So the asked unit is the meters. And then after locating it, now you fill in with a decimal point. But remember, the decimal point is not put before a digit. It is put after a digit. Do you see where it is meter? And then we put the decimal point there where in the position of the meters. That is the decimal point. Wow. So 12,536 millimeters equal to 12.536 meters. You see that we are converting from the smaller units to the larger units. That is why here we are having the decimal points. We may have reduced digits or we may have the decimal points. So let's have the next case. Now we know how to fill in with the digits. Okay. So you have 3000. The last zero is the last digit is put under meters. And then the other digits are filled in according to the position of the last digit. And then after that, we locate the position of the, the asked unit. Here the asked unit is kilometer. So we locate what? We locate kilometer. And then after locating kilometer, we put the decimal point in the position of kilometer. This is the decimal point. After putting the decimal point there, the zeros after the decimal point. If there is no other digits, for example, a digit here, another counting digit here, another counting digit here. So the zeros after the decimal point can be cancelled. So when you cancel them, they go with the decimal point, as we made this here may see it here so 3000 meters equal to 3 kilometers we are converting from smaller unit to the larger units that is here we are having reduced number of digits or we use the decimal point here we are having four digits but here we are having only one digit because we are converting from the smaller units to the larger units so let's now have a new case when you have decimal points. The decimal point is always put in the position where we have the given unit. Here the given unit is meter. So the decimal point is put in the position of meters. And then we fill in with decimals and with the whole number according to their position, to, to, to their place values. You get it? Let's have it. You see that here we have, we have put decimal point under meters because meter was the given unit. And then this three is ones, this one is tenths. This is tenths, this is uh, hundredths. 
So here we fill in according to the position of the decimal point. So what is the meaning of decimal point here? Maybe we shall have it in the next lesson, but let, let me just introduce it. This 13 is meters. To mean you have 13 meters and 56 centimeters. You get it? 13 meters and 56 centimeters. They can write it as 13.56 meters of the right 13 meters 56 centimeters so when you're converting remember we only locate the asked unit the asked unit here is millimeter and where is located millimeter this is millimeter and then we fill in zeros because you are converting from larger to smaller from meter to millimeters so we fill in with the zeros until we get to the given to the asked units or in other case you can just be displacing the decimal point until we get to the asked units when we move the decimal point you move it to this place we move it to this place and then we move it to this place to the asked unit and then because you can't fill in with the decimal point without anything we put a zero here so that is why here we are having we first remove the decimal point you can move it until you get to the asked unit or we fill in zeros when there is an empty space there there we are having an empty place value that is why we fill it in with the zeros do you get it thank you very much no now 13.56 meter equals to 13,560 millimeters let's go to the next case you can do it we are having 2.5 hectometer we first look at where is the given unit. The given unit is hectometer. So now the decimal point is put there. And then after putting, filling, with, uh, filling in with decimal point, now we fill in with the digits according to their place values. We are having 2.5. So as a reminder, we can read them as 2.5 hectometers or 2 hectometers and 5 decameters you get it okay so now what you have here you locate the asked unit is kilometer and then you put the decimal point there in the place of kilometer and then you fill in with the zeros never never forget to fill in zeros don't write the decimal point without a number before a decimal point so 2.5 hectometer equals to 0.25 kilometers you can watch this video again before you do the exercises at the end of it here we have exercises you do these exercises and then send them to your parents to someone who can help you or to your teacher for the constructive feedback thank you very much but remember to subscribe you like and share this content and hit the bell for notifications for notifications thank you very much be blessed